everybody. Um, so right now you're watching our YouTube channel, and we just want to say here at Bargain Hunters, thank you so much for watching all our videos, giving us thumbs up, subscribing. It really just puts a smile on our face. So for me, I wanted to say thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. It means so much to us, and we're just so excited that you can come along our journeys of buying great and cool stuff. So thank you. Woohoo! Special message. Yeah. Before we start the video, special message from Tatiana. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? So we're going to make a short, quick video today. It's going to be just quick bits of unboxing when we see good stuff. We just bought an amazing unit for Storage Wars Season 14. Spent $3,700. It's going to be freaking crazy. But so we have to clean up this section here so we can bring the unit in because we're actually going to film it here. So we're going to go through some of the stuff from the $25,000 deal. And like I just, this box looks interesting. So we're just going to take little tidbits. So when it looks good, we'll show it. We won't really show you too much junk stuff. So, and also I don't have my Audi equipment with me today. So hopefully the sound is good. I'll try to speak loud, but bear with us. But these are the trays for the uh, scales that we have. And here look, old American flyer train sets. I think these are pre-war. This one is really cool, really heavy too, with the copper and everything. Some matchbook stuff let's see this is uh this is marks these are usually a little bit cheaper what's this i have no idea what this is um more marks they're all like nice metal pressed steel there's another one. Oh, you know what I wonder if that's like a stand for the trains. Some sort of display stand? No. It looks like it's standing and something goes in here. I'm not sure. If you guys know what it is, let me know. And then Gilbert, uh, the world little record cleaner. Oh, here we go. Let's go to this. Still, why go? I haven't listed this yet. I gotta list this too. Organizing this show. As you can tell, Renee. Play Tetris and it's starting to go all the way to the ceiling. Make room. And I check Three out story this, high. Check out all this hand radio gear. He's really raising the roof. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. So we have like probably another 20 or 30 units of these in boxes. So these all will be on eBay for all the hand radio gears. <sighs> these shoes right there, these are all in boxes. They will be on Storage Wars. Hey, Zach. Some of this stuff you guys might have already seen from the $25,000 locker. Two Toledo scales, another Toledo scale. We need to clean it. And then I'm really excited about this. Let's see, can you look in? No. I don't know, you probably can't see this, but. So, just sorting the shelf, trying to make room. Check this out. Just pulled this out of a box. I don't think you guys seen this before. With the key, original key. One cent gumball machine. Needle. Let's see what it says on here. It just says gumball machine. And then it's actually a really nice piece of glassware. Pink. And then the whole thing is full of change. It's probably 50 bucks and change in here. Maybe 40, I don't know. Nice little ashtray. Just found another one. Nice little wind up toy. And then this. Got a candy machine. Gumball machine. Looks like it's 70s, kind of cool. Pulled it out of this little box. I got like so many boxes like this, so hopefully all full with these nice candy machines. Not a beautiful piece. Joker's Wild. So I think you would like, this would be like on a bar top and you put in your quarter and then you roll the dice and then if you win. So something like that. Cool little machine, gotta be at least a couple hundred dollars. Not a really cool piece. Skeet bowling. Just a mini version. So you have your balls right here. Kind of cool, right? Definitely old. Very old. Check this puppy out. This is, uh, I think it's an old buddy L. I have to look. Let's see the bottom. So I'm just trying to do stuff fast. And pretty, I think these are, these are the buddy L looks, but this is a minimum of 500 bucks. And then here, a little, it's probably some sort of steam engine. That's cool. Actually, what does it say right here? Weed in by National Playthings. 
So you guys can Google this for me because I'm not going to Google it right now. And then, there's another one out there. See, so I just put that on there. And then, here's another one. You guys seen this in a previous video before the police patrol car. This should bring somewhere between 500 to 1,000 in this condition. Have it up here. Another one down there. Let's say hi, Nana. Hi. Are we sorting everything cleaning? Yes, we're doing a great job. Do we have too much crap? We're about to get there. To that. Just wait till you see what me and mommy bought for 3700 on the storage wars. Oh my gosh. There's a reason we're making room. Do I have to unload it? Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, check this guy's out. Rhino spotting scope, Winchester. Is the model number? Hey, somebody look it up for me. I'll look at save a WLK5. Yeah, it gotta be 60 bucks. And then also, you wanna show them the helmet real quick? So we're finding some stuff. Brand new inbox helmet. Yeah, that's, so that's gonna go to our upstairs shelves. It'll be on eBay. Brand new, never used. See, let me see the bottom of it. Yeah, brand new, see, never used. Cool. That'll be on eBay within the next two or three months. Just pull this uh, scale out. It's really old. I love these little weights. Obviously, these are the weights that are supposed to go with it. And then, these don't really go with it, but I love these weights. Really cool. And then, you guys know this. I'm holding this for my buddy Tass. He's gonna come get this the next couple weeks. He has his own company too, which has just been super, super busy. So, he's gonna completely restore that too. I'm gonna see what some of the stuff is. Check out all these signs. So a lot of these are new. This is actually really heavy right here. Uh, but we always would get like five to 10 bucks in our store for these and they would sell fast. Like this be 10 bucks sells fast. Like these are wholesale like $13 usually because we actually had a company one time we're gonna start ordering from like stuff like this. So when you find a pie like this, you know, it adds up really fast money wise. You know, I mentioned it before in a video, you should see what we bought on Storage Wars. It's like three in here. Coca-Colas, you know. People just buy these to hang them up in the garage. Mobile lubricant, these are all $10 bills all day long. And they sell fast. This actually looks old, Sunco. Huh, let me see what this is. He paid $18.50 plus eight bucks shipping for this one. See, that's why we get 10 bucks for him. It's a whole bunch stacked right here. General Motors. There's more in here. What do you think, Zach? Oh, looks pretty good. Dependable service. Eat Marietta bread. <laughs> Speed thrills. GMGC. Texaco. And then there's a wrap one. Should we see what's in here? Yeah. Car backs Buick. Let's see. Oops. Uh, let's see what this is. Let's see what's in here. It said Buick. It's probably new, more new signs, but full service garage. You pay twenty for this one. And brake work you can trust. Brake. Oh, brake work you can trust. Cool. Yeah, so you pay 20 bucks a sign for these. Like I said, I would say 10. You know, you're probably can get away with charging 15 for some. But we'll save these. When we do it at a store, these will be great. Guys, I just found a box I've never looked at. George, say what's up. What's up? Did you just pass? <laughs> I'm gonna leave that on the video. I had to get it out. <laughs> just checking my Shiba Inu, man. Okay, nice. So we have this box. Why don't you film for some? We'll see what's in this box. Look at this. Penga Postkasse. That's like, must be like, uh, hold on, I need you to film for a second. Oh, so just something wrong with that boy. I, I don't know what country that's from. I would guess like something Scandinavian. Oh, that's so much stuff. So guys, I went through some of the boxes here. Like right now I'm going through the junkies to the junk boxes, which is at the end, but there's still cool stuff in here. Hey, look, that's, uh, you know, he, here's your owner, the Victorola thing, gramophone. It's really funny. This one is like a metal. Like, I've never really got these before, but then I had one, I just had something on storage was where we appraised it that's related to this. And now in this unit, there's a whole bunch of this stuff. 
You know, but he collected Victorolas too here. I think the master's voice is supposed to call or something like that. These are old. Nice little old wooden boat, that's cool. Some die cast cars. And here's a really one here. His master's voice. Cool pieces. And these are like really junk boxes. I'm just trying to clean up when we unloaded these units. You know, we're unloading the rest like late at night, so we just kind of left it at the end, so now I'm finally cleaning it. I know it's a crazy video today, but I'm giving you guys some unboxing as we go. We have just recleaned the whole warehouse, restacking. I haven't opened this box. I just hatched it open because I couldn't do it with one hand. Oh, cool. Look at this. Looks like this is all... Like, usually I'm guessing Warhammer, but this actually looks like Lord of the Rings to me. Yeah, this is all Lord of the Rings. These are metal right here. These are plastic. Metal. Let me see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are Lord of the Rings. That's cool. Now I gotta look them up. I don't know what they're worth, but the box is pretty heavy. So some are metal, some are plastic. That's a cool little box. Then, a bunch of rackets. Cheech and Chong, 45s. Blueberry Hell, The Beatles. If I feel mint condition, thirty dollars. Can do that. Okay, Culture Club. Culture Club. Picture forty fives. Thin Lizzie. General Public. East side. The special, AKA. Something else behind there. Lindsey Buckingham. Jermaine Jackson. Steve Miliband. No. Quinto. <laughs> hey guys, these are two boxes. These, these come from the deal that we paid with Dan and Laura, like $35,000 for all the models oh, and stuff like this. Yeah. How much money? It's, it's 35000 Four years ago, and they've just been sitting in one of our oh, storages. You think it's been longer? Yeah. So we're going to go through this. This is the crappier box, I think. And, you know, we might have showed some of this stuff. I don't know. We show so much stuff, so but we'll look at it now. So we'll see. There's some really cool stuff in here. First two, Magic decks. They hold us. Really not worth anything. Yeah, I was like, that's not exciting. Aurora, Chevy Monza, and it's still sealed. This is like from the 1960s or 50s. So kits like these, I usually get 50 to 100 bucks a piece for. Wow. I don't know where this comes. Warhammer. So this should be like 20 bucks, maybe 10, I don't know, you see. Then see, like th like some of the stuff this guy, and this is not from us, that's just how it came. But they're so old, I still kept them. Like this is like all rotten away. But this is Lind Lindbergh. Do people collect that? In this condition, maybe not. They might try to get it just for some parts inside. This, I'll probably toss this, to be honest. Okay. Um, Warhammer Fantasy, these look really old. C Citadel Miniatures, 1992 Game Workshop. So we're gonna look, through. this looks like really early Warhammer 92? stuff. 92, that's when I graduated from high school. Mini Lindy by Lindbergh Line Build and Collect Series 17. And see, like he, like some of these boxes, he got dirt on. Uh, nineteen seventy seventy one Hotshot Corvette, manufactured by Lindbergh Products. So this is minimum twenty thirty bucks. But it's just these vintage boxes are really cool. Uh, here's another mini Lindy Corvette. So this guy was into Corvettes. So ninety nine percent of his stuff is Corvettes. Oh yeah, our entire store was a Corvette store for quite a while. Well, look at this tape measure. What does that symbol mean? Is that a Warhammer or something? It's probably really rare and I just like... You're so cute how you asked me like I would know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you big Warhammer player. Oh yeah. You like your Minion Legions, the 3000 series? You're not supposed to give away all my secrets. <laughs> Her closet's actually just full with tools, not clothing. Warhammer is a role playing game? It, it's this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Tanya thinks we'll, we'll talk about tools. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tape measure. Hey, can you get me the Minion, Minion 3000? Berserker? It's a tape measure from Game Work Workshop. And then I don't know what this logo is. Looks like a Rising Phoenix. Uh -huh. And in here, I think all the stuff is Warhammer stuff. There's a bunch of figures. So even with these, you want to try to research and figure out if you know what you have. Because some of the stuff can be really good. These are pieces from the Space Hulk game. We sold that many times on eBay. But in boxes and stuff. And there's uh, magic item, magic cards. Bunch of Warhammer stuff in this box. See? Warhammer. Look at all the detail in that. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna leave this. Let's look at the second box. 
That was a little loud. I don't think it's in one piece. <laughs> Coet Stingray. Should be like 40 bucks. And so we sold some of these on eBay, but we held multiples because this guy hoarded everything. So Sebring Eraser, also a Corvette. Lindbergh, I think we got like 40 for these. And look how many we have. Two, three, four, five, six. I feel like I got like 70 for these. I have to look. But it's easy to look up on eBay. Then here's some Johnny Lightning. We sold these in the store for five bucks a piece. We had like hundreds of these. Yeah, people would get little shopping baskets and like fill them up. A guy would come in every week seeing if we had new Johnny Lightning. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, a lot of customers. I know people people love this. The store. guy lives in Ramona. If he's watching, hello. Coca Cola delivery team, 1979. I was two years old. Wow. Kind of cool. yeah. And I've never seen this before. This is cake, Wilt and Cake Top Step Jocker. So I guess that's for top of a cake. Wilton, oh yeah, they still saw cake stuff today. Uh-oh, Casey's favorite show is a kit. Pee Wee official brand, 1988 Spectra Star. I have no idea what you're even talking about. Pee Wee Herman, is that Pee Wee Herman? Pee Wee, that, that is Pee Wee Herman. Oh, okay. You still love Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> she liked Popeye. Yeah. Cool Popeye. spin Christmas. Oh, that's cool keychain. Ruby Cube keychain. Oh, yeah, that's That's beautiful. cool. 1982. See, we have boxes. Like from and this... they sold it at Pick and Save. That doesn't even exist anymore for 25 cents. Oh, Kenyatta like, would love Pick and Save. Pick and Save, like, the dollar store? Yeah. Better. Yes. So we have, like, so many boxes from this dealer that are just, like, full of stuff like this. We don't even know what's in here. Closed pin doll ornament. I think they fell out. Is it invisible? Oh, so I'm embarrassed to say, yeah. but I used to watch this all the time. Oh, the Care Bears. The Care Bears. Oh. When I was a kid, I don't know why. Questioning some of my choices now, but this is the front bear. <laughs> Sharing's caring, right? There you go. <laughs> so the puzzle it fell out, but the whole puzzle is in here. Perfect just jigsaw type interlocking for victory by United States Saving Bonds. Wow, so this must be 40s to advertising saving bonds. Okay. This must be war period. So it's all the pieces. It has to say children's puzzles. It says two perfect children's puzzles on the side. Ah. Two perfect. Tatiana, new kids on the block. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Remember when we got the new kids on the block trading cards? People were going crazy. They would come in. I'll take the whole box. Care Bears. Care Bears. These are all eighties. Care Bears. Then a Rubik chain. So like all this stuff is just money, guys. Like this is at least ten bucks. Care Bears. Not a cake top. There's a bunch of cake toppers in here. Look how cute. Looks like a little elf costume. I think that's so you put them on here. These are they like the clothing pins somehow. Oh, I used to have those clothing pins in my room. Then you have the little. Aww. It's like 1970s. There's more cake toppers in here. A bunch of cake toppers. The puzzle pieces. And then I don't want to take it out because I don't want it to fall what apart. What cake topper is that anyways? Is it a dude or is it a woman? What is it? It's like a runny dude. A jogger. Oh, it's a woman jogger. I think that was a good. It says Insta jogger. Can't run away from it. Happy 30th. Oh my god. Because I was like, why would they have um, a runner on cake? And there's another puzzle in here. So you have to do after you eat the cake. You know, World War II area because they're advertising saving bonds. So that's it. That's these box. A little bit of bonus footage. Like, subscribe. Hope you guys liked it.